Hey guys, this is Matthias, and this is going to be my second beginner's guide ESF tutorial. This video is going to be focusing only on air to ground. I'm going to be using the air to ground nose guns. Now the word ESF is the acronym for Empire Specific Fighter, meaning that there is a specific one for each empire, and each one also have a uh, specific or empire specific dedicated air to ground nose gun or anti-infantry nose gun I should say. The Hornet missiles are non-Empire specific. Now one of the problems with shooting targets that are below you is that you will start dropping in altitude and if you do that for too long you will of course crash into the ground and die. Now in order to avoid this you need to be able to control the thrusters and you need to use them in order to gain momentum upwards which is something that is called hover mode. Now the thrusters are only visible for the Mosquito and the Reaver but uh, the same principle works just as well with the sight. Now the important thing about being in hover mode is actually to avoid hovering and I know it sounds a bit contradictional but that's actually the fact you need to at all times be able to maintain some kind of momentum and that is to avoid being hit by dumb fire rockets, tanks and uh, anti-vehicle turrets and such. There's uh, plenty of stuff that will shoot at you. And if you for whatever reason lose momentum and maybe you need to stop just to focus at your aim for a short period of time, you need to get back into momentum again as quick as possible. So now if you're unfamiliar with how to get into hover mode, I suggest you to try to just fly forward like you see me doing here and then uh, quickly hit the brakes or analog throttle, make a roll to the side like this and pitch down. Now you want to be able to do all these three things at once but uh, basically first you hit uh, the air brakes or the analog throttle, you roll to one of the sides and pitch down. Now once you see the thrusters pointing down you can use the afterburners in order to give yourself some extra momentum. And uh, now there is a lot of uh, varieties to this uh, so-called reverse maneuver. And uh, if you are interested in some more advanced ways uh, of using this, then I would suggest you to check out some of my other tutorials. The links will be in the description, but uh, most of them are going to be a lot more advanced. Now you can kind of overdo this uh, maneuver as well, and it might look a little bit like this. But it serves the same purpose of getting you into hover mode from flight mode. Now it's important to keep in mind that this flying style is very ineffective against anti-air. You cannot dodge flak or lock-ons this way, at least not from players that have a little bit of experience with this game. And against lock-ons this style of flying is even less effective. Therefore it's important to know when it is appropriate to get into hover mode or, and uh, when you need to stay in flight mode. Now another thing that I want to point out also is that uh, you are going to get targeted many times less when you are an inexperienced and unknown pilot. For me when I fly, uh, things that you see here would take up a lot more time than the time that I can spend actually focusing on air to ground. Now if you get to the level where you can get a lot of kills with uh, the air hammer, banshee or light PPA, you might get a little bit of a taste of this, but uh, for me this is uh, mostly uh, due to my YouTube channel. But either way, you need to be prepared for this and uh, if you are too outnumbered, it doesn't really matter how much experience you have. It's uh, going to be impossible, especially with an air to ground weapon, to deal with uh, too many enemy ESFs. Now doing this with the sight it's uh, basically the same thing, only you don't have the uh, thrusters to look at. Instead you need to either just feel it or look at the contrails all the way to the left to the right of your aircraft. And when you're in flight mode you will see them being very clearly as, as you see here. And when I get into hover mode they disappear. You can also see the kind of steam coming out from underneath the ESF when you're flying the sight. Notice here in slow motion how when I slow down the contrails disappears when I'm in, fl in hover mode and the steam is kind of blowing out downwards underneath the sight. Now here in order to get a better position I get out of hover mode by, by pitching up and getting into flight mode and then I do the roll pitch down maneuver while hitting the analog throttle and I find myself back into hover mode again. Identified. 
So now if you're effective with this, you can get a lot of kills in a short period of time, uh, especially if you're able to surprise your opponent. Just don't expect to make too many friends out of your enemy infantry players. You also need to have a good place to fall back to, uh, preferably a place where you can resupply as well, but uh, yeah, if uh, you take too much damage, then you need to be able to break line of sight, and uh, preferably be able to get some help from some of your friends if it is enemy aircrafts chasing you. Now what I've been showing you so far is basically a bit of old school type air to ground gameplay and to me this normally doesn't work. Uh, I prefer to stay in flight mode and rely on the surprise attack, hit and run. And I prefer also to be able to break line of sight from my opponents so they can't tell where I'm coming from. In this case they are facing west because that's uh, the direction they need to go to. Now I'm coming in from the opposite direction because I'm hoping that most of these sensor players are not going to be able to see me. Now the moment I have to reload I quickly burst away from there making sure that I can get into flight mode quickly because uh, this uh, terrain and uh, the environment here at Hasen doesn't really allow for the kind of technique that I've shown you in the earlier part of this video. Anyway, I hope this beginner's guide was helpful. Looking forward to your feedback, so I will say thank you all for watching, and bye for now. Thanks, fam.